we are on Infinite Gist. Gist. Right on. And we have a special guest today. I'm not special. You guys are special. You are special. Uh, my name us. is Nuke. Nuke. Yes. How do you pronounce your last name? Suanchot. 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 Yeah. We have an audience, by the okay, way. Okay, Suanchot. Well, that's good to know because I've never pronounced it out loud. I'm just like, <laughs> you never the asked. Brothers, no. My name's Joe. You pronounce it Joe. Joe. Sorry, could you got it, yourself? got it, got Joe. it. Joe. I'll get one of these. <laughs> Newt, what do you do? Who are you? And why are you so damn good at what you do? I don't think I'm anything special. I just think I'm trying. I want to try my best. Um... I think that can always improve, and I'm a filmmaker. Um, I always wanted to tell stories and kind of influence people to be better people, kind of to create a better world. Uh, I was just talking to uh, my friend Sean about that, and I was like, hey, you know, I want to make a difference. Uh, Amazon Rainforest was just on fire, right? And uh, my buddy Isaac was really upset about that. He's like, man, I don't know what to do to be able to help our world. And I'm like, dude, I don't know how to do it either. But I know if we try our best to be able to influence and make people feel yeah. um, through film, then maybe we might be able to do that. All right. Um, so that's the goal. And so I'm trying my darn best to be able to empower other people to do good for the world. You could cuss, too. This shit. You okay. can say whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. I'm just so you know, you can get them out there. Okay. It's- cool. So um, making a difference, are you talking about like documentaries? No, actually. Okay. Growing up, I always mm-hmm. liked movies that were, weren't were real, right? Yeah. But these stories shape who you are. For example, The Dark Knight, not real. Batman's not real. Right. What? But it, ma- <laughs> it makes you feel a certain sorry. way. I'm so sorry. I know. <laughs> okay. It's, it's, All right, we, I didn't no, mean to tell you. I didn't mean you. to break it to you. We I didn't can, mean to can, do it now. We can, we can move on. We can move on. You alright? You need a moment? Yeah, I was wondering why they all look different, but... <laughs> okay. okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> um, and so it doesn't, they, they don't always have to be real or nonfiction or documentary, mm-hmm. but they just make you feel a certain way. And sometimes when you make people feel a certain way, they might want to act a certain way. And I want to make people help each other, help okay. the world. So you want to be a good example, yeah. Kind of example. give the inspiration mm-hmm. and inspire people to kind of, you know, like because there's a ton of movies out there, and you have the anti-hero, mm-hmm. right? And yeah. then you have the anti- ad- tag. Help me, my Asian tongue's Antagonist. Skin. Antagonist. Antagonist. Thank you. And the protagonist. Those are important things. So uh, when you're making a film, uh-huh. are you in the back of your head going, okay, what's the main message? Now you're an actor too, right? I am just getting into acting. Okay. Um, I think there's a large opportunity here for a person of my demographic, our demographic right now. Um, the social you're political. A I get what he's saying. Okay. Non-white. Sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got it. There's a, <laughs> there's a movement happening now, and I think I would like to take. I would like to use the opportunity to be able to, you know, find success and show the world a little bit of what, what I believe in. I yeah. think celebrities, people who have a lot of money, people who have a lot of power, they influence the rest of the world. Um, I would like to think that I want the world to go in a better direction. Mm-hmm. And so if I can put myself in that position, I feel like at least just a little bit, um, I would influence people for the better. Sure. Um, And at the same time, why I like to make movies that are fictional is because it's fun, right? I'm also kind of a realist here. Not everybody likes to watch documentaries, right? Um, I do. I love documentaries. (laughs) Well, he, 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 you're great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, A lot of people, they just want to escape reality. Sure. Mm -hmm. You know, most people like to escape reality. So why don't you put the message in there? Yeah. Right. If that's where people want to go, then just influence them, change their mind where where they aren't suspecting it. Right. Yeah. What is well, success? Sorry. Go no, ahead. no, no. Go ahead. I was gonna say. We'll I, let the we'll come like that. Go ahead. 
I like. You only get one question. <laughs> you know what you kind of said is you know you want to expose people and, and show show them different demographics mm-hmm. and I think that's what got me into storytelling. Yeah, is I wanted people to see a more reality based world. Yeah, it's not all blonde hair, blue eye. You know, when you go down to Pike Place, that's not what you're gonna no. see. You're gonna see no. everything. Yeah. So I've always, I've always thought that's like number one is like get some diversity. Yeah. And you don't have to force it. Just it's there. Yeah. Just go with what's natural. You know. Uh, that's the other thing that kind of bothered me. When you could tell they're like, well, we have to get, we have to get at least one Asian guy in here. Yeah. We gotta get at least one black lady in. And, you know, it's like no, yeah. just be natural. It, yeah. Don't force it. Yeah. And. Uh, you're right. I think the more people are exposed to that, the more they're forced to accept it. Mm-hmm. And even though it might not seem like it now, mm-hmm. but it's got to be better now than it was. Oh yeah. And it's got to get better now than it is. Totally. So the, totally. you know what you're saying is is I'm digging it. Thank you. I appreciate that. So what do you mean not force it though? There's a flip side of that coin. Well, if you don't remember to add diversity. Well, that's the thing. Get to the yeah. point where you're not... It's not a memo. Or it's natural. Black guy yeah. for this part. But yeah. in your mind as a storyteller, what do you see? And yeah. if you... if you All you see is... Is... Uh, is is white people that all work at the same place yeah. in the middle of a diverse city like Seattle. Well, I don't think you're looking hard enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's what I mean by... Don't do it because you feel like you have to do it. Do it because that's what the reality is. is normal. Yeah. You know, not every uh, mom has a six pack abs mm-hmm. and totally bangable. They're like very, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they're, there's moms who believe it or not, they're older. Yeah. They're not, yeah. they don't look like they're, you know, have a teenage kid and they right. they look like they're 30. Mm-hmm. It's not. Yeah. It's not reality. Like, yeah, that makes sense. There, you know, I, I see casting calls all the time, and you see Caucasian, Caucasian, Caucasian. Mm-hmm. And one casting call, I happened to reply and said, "Hey, I can go white face." <laughs> <laughs> and the guy goes, "That's a good point." And he changed it. Unfortunately, I wasn't even available to even do it, but I was like, I could have done it. But it just, I thought, well, oh, that's kind of funny to offer to be a white guy. Yeah. <laughs> so, what is it that you? What do you got going on here? Like, what is... We're in your, your clubhouse. What do, what do you guys like to do here? So, I think... I know, but I'm pretending like I don't know. <laughs> you're gonna because have, I want everyone... That's gonna that happen. was probably the best about acting you're going to get out of here. <laughs> I, could, I could say, you know, and we're done. Yeah, yeah right. So, you have it's a secret. <laughs> um, somebody asked me earlier, what is this sort of, like, film club, right? And it was really simple. I said... It is a place in time where people, a group of creatives as filmmakers and actors can get together and produce content with each other with people who are passionate about the same thing uh, at the same time with professionals, right? So it's not just a bunch of people doing it with their iPhones, even though that's totally plausible. If we could just do what we, we want to do and then make high quality content here and now, Let's do it. Why not? You know, I'd rather be doing this for free, um, which is exactly what I'm doing, than do boring, monotonous work, but get paid a lot. Yeah. Because I feel like my parents have always taught me, you want to be, <laughs> you want to do something that makes you happy and yeah. enrich your life personally. Yeah. And then financially as well. Yes. And I know a lot of people do it financially. Um, they do the financial part first yeah and, the, yeah. and then the other part later mm-hmm. but then I'm talking to them they're like man I can't do it another day like I'm done you know yeah. and I'm like hey it sucks sometimes I won't have a job for like two three weeks it really does mm-hmm. but I'm really happy right. like I realize like I'm or I'd like to say that I'm rich in that aspect like I'm happy I could do this again yeah I could do it tomorrow I could do it the next day you know like, let's do it guys you don't dread going to work yeah oh not at all yeah. You know, I love it, yeah. especially when I get to go work with crew or people I like. Yeah. I'm like, let's go. I'm excited to wake up and get on it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Totally no, like, I, it's it's a, you know, from the first time I I, can't, I stopped by, and then it was like I had a few weeks where I couldn't make it. Yeah. Like, I couldn't wait to come back. Yeah. 
and, and there's no one thing I can explain, you know, yeah. I, mean, I have to get up early to go to work, I have to do all these things, but yeah. it's totally worth it because you just feel like you really get to, to do something you don't get to do every day. Yeah. And it's like you said, being around creatives and people who just want to do the same thing. I was telling Joe, I said, Joe, you, you kind of trip out at like, it's like Santa's, you know, the elves in Santa's sh- the toy shop. That's how you look at it. So. <laughs> no, there's more than Asians here, bro. <laughs> See, that was you. I didn't put that one out there. But literally, it's oh, like oh, everyone's oh. tinkering away at something. Yeah. You yeah. ask someone to do something, and it's not like, uh, or, uh, I don't want to. It's like, cool. Right. And, and like, yeah. it's it's, it's very action. refreshing. Yeah, it's you're, you're <clears> around <throat> people who get it. And, yeah. um, and that's why I think it's kind of cool that you actually have like a base for it because like I, I would say yeah let's go to my house and do it but then my wife would say no you're dead <laughs> um especially as late as we can go you we know? do go late um sometimes we'll be here like three or four once we're here at 5 a.m wow. and sometimes i could tell like there's not an agenda mm-hmm. but we just want to because yeah. this, no one really wants to leave like last week i left i think about one yeah and it was only because i was like is that why you were late for work no, no. <laughs> <laughs> i made the shoot the next day <laughs> But no, literally, I was just like, if I stay here, I'm gonna stay here. Yeah, like, yeah. we're gonna find something else to do. Yeah, yeah. right. And uh, it's nice, it's pleasant, but it, it is kind of like drinking. Like, hey, if you got you got shit to do, man, you might need to yeah. cut yourself off at <laughs> yeah, a certain yeah, yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and just know that, hey, this next Wednesday, you know. Yeah, we. I. I more often than not, I'm like, all right, you guys, we're done. We just let's just get out of here because everyone's just like stay and wait for the next thing to be brought up. Yeah. Um, which is great because this is how you want to live your life. You want to go yeah. and do stuff you want to go and not yes. stop doing. That's what gives that feeds that passion. Yeah. You know. Exactly. So what? Uh, what would you like to promote? What is it? You have a website. Mm-hmm. Do you have what? Is, for anything that you want to talk about? He's fancy the computer, so he can put all your information. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Perfect. In non san san serif <laughs> just uh, like font. Font. that yeah. <laughs> yeah well essentially I started this little <clears throat> workshop right this actors reel we so we're called empower video productions I just like to empower people mm-hmm. kind of give people the ability to do what they want to do. Um, through, you know, words and practice and stuff like that. Um, and like you said, the film club is like Wednesdays and we nobody gets paid. I don't charge anybody, you know, but we just go, we decide as a, a group what we want to do usually. Yeah. Um, I did start this thing where like, if you want to us to film you, that's just all about you. We can do that, you yeah. know, uh, something affordable because I realize uh, some people don't have a reel. Right. Right. And sometimes they need it. But film club is to empower everyone, right? So something, so, so we do offer this thing where like, hey, you want a reel or you want a movie that you're the lead of? Mm-hmm. Allow me to help you. I would love to be able to help you. And that's story, uh, shooting, editing. You've got yourself. Yeah. We're, original... we're, starting, okay. we're starting to expand it a lot. Right now, we're just doing acting. Yeah. Um, a couple of guys were like, hey man, could you film me? Uh, acts for my like reel so i have something to be in so i can when i get started like the first thing you see of him acting looks like professional and high quality right. yeah i'm like dude yeah i could i could do that for you that is so awesome because when i was creating my reel yeah there was a lot of content that yeah. did not look good and we didn't even use it my even my wife was like you're not using that you yeah. can't use this most it of the shit look. that i had him in that was my favorite <laughs> <laughs> your stuff looked good well, this is not the shit. Not the shit I shot. Right? Not the shit I shot. <laughs> the shit other people but shot I, for me. I, that's appreciative because I think a lot of actors out there are looking. You know, right now I'm, I'm casting for a a project that I'm working on with uh, Tim Earnhardt, mm-hmm. and it's called Drawback. So, ladies, we're looking for actresses right now. Send me an email. Uh, headshot, resume, White, real, blonde, real, blue eyes. No, <laughs> no, sorry. Yeah, that's that's the old way of casting. So, <laughs> so, but we're the same thing. Is I, I asked them to send me a reel, and a lot of them don't have a reel. Exactly. So exactly. they're sending me clips of stuff they've been in. Yeah, but they haven't compiled it and made a reel. So yeah. I think that's awesome that you guys are working with other people to do that. Totally. It's uh, it's really my pleasure to be able to do that. I want to film fun stuff anyways yeah right that's what i want to do 
listen, I love doing corporate work. I do, right? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I want to experiment. Bobby, what kind of story you got where you can get this guy to act with that guy? Yeah. I don't know what story. I'm not a writer. Right but off the bat, yeah. I'm thinking Kung Fu. And, and, and Bobby's <laughs> a good writer. We've experienced that. Even on the 48 hour, Bobby's just like boom, 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 boom. He is. He you is. Know? That's, why, that's why I wanted them to come along. Because I can imagine as a creative writer, yeah. he wants to see some of these things come to reality. And I am not a writer, and I want to help him be able to do that, and I be able to film. Yeah. Uh, I want to act a little more. And so I want to be in front of the camera. So I'm kind of letting everybody else film yeah. and let them hone their skills and you know abilities as well. Uh-huh. Um, as I mentioned with the actor thing, we're going to do that later with like filmmaking, cinematography, right? Awesome. editing, yeah. like writing, stuff like that. But we're really just getting started. So I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Yeah. Um, but I just want to be able to... This is the beginning of the revolution. I mean... Right. That's a great way to put it. I, I appreciate the way you put it, you know. How are we doing on time? That was great. You're at 16, 17. All right. Well, we'll wrap I it up. Want, I don't want to go. You don't have to leave. Oh, leaving. we can stay. We'll just yeah, well, stay. Please or stay. wrapping up the interview. Please, I would love yeah. you to stay. Yeah. Oh, I have one more question. You have two brothers. Yes, sir. Are they involved in this as well? They are. Um, my younger brother is my younger brother. And he's okay. still learning about what he wants to do in life. Yeah. Right? My older brother is a great businessman and cinematographer, director. Well, sim- businessman, director, slash cinematographer also. Yeah. He's just a general filmmaker. I don't know why I said that. But um, he is really, really good at what he does. Um, and he just pounds away at that. You know, like the images he creates and the stories he directs are really, right. really well done. I'm trying to be like that. And so I'm just, I just try to work at it. I just okay. try, right? And my little brother's learning to that's try, awesome. learning to go. And that's part direction. of like what we did last week. It was, he handed him some, I mean, these guys just have like nice shit just laying around. Yeah, yeah. We, it's we, like, yeah, here, we don't, we don't use this for a black magic gimbal. You it's know? a black magic pocket, but <clears throat> this, is, this is the older one. That's like the throwaway camera. They, they give that shit to any kind of watching you. You get try. this when you just show up. Yeah. Everyone has one of those. <laughs> yeah, here you go. That's awesome. But no, he literally like, hey, go out here and you know try shooting with this. And we, we yeah. fucked around with the iPhone. Yeah. We knew yeah. it would fail. Yeah. And what's funny was he let us fail. <laughs> yeah. And said, no, we'll just we'll go back and shoot it with the with the black <laughs> yeah, magic yeah, yeah, or whatever yeah, yeah. it was. It's yeah. like really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, we, we worked hard on that. <laughs> I was thinking in my head yeah. like, and and it's it, like yeah. I want to try on the iPhone. I'm like. Or, or, or you could shoot on the cinema camera right off the bat. If you got it, right? And he's, and he's like, nah. No, he did. His brother's like, ah. We'll do the iPhone first. <laughs> Which is cool. Which is cool. So you can see it. The yeah. difference. Yeah. 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 When I first started doing stuff, I, I uh, did a little short and I used my iPhone because I didn't have a camera. Yeah. And then uh, just you start somewhere. You got to start somewhere. But once you get the equipment, you know, right now we're filming this on the A7 III. Yeah. Great camera. Rocks. 50 yeah. millimeter lens. Killer. Killer. So... It's the way you work up. So, so your brothers are involved in the business and everything like that. Yes. And so you guys are a team. Yep. Doing this. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Now you just released a trailer. Yes. And what's that about? Uh, Kinetic, um, is a little sci-fi film. I made. I started in college. Uh, so. A couple of years ago. Yeah, I'm not yeah. in college anymore. Uh, but it had kind of a large cast and crew, and so it was difficult to organize these dates uh-huh. and. When I started, I was like, you know, let's just make it a one-day shoot. Let's not be too ambitious here. <laughs> yeah. And then we shot for about 24 days. Wow. Uh, you know, staggered. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yeah, you know, no, we need to shoot film again. Yeah, we need to do that again. Uh, and so now it's a lot larger than uh, I expected, but I wanted to be able to... Basically, what we do with Film Club, get together with a bunch of people a bunch of times and do what we love yeah. and make it look good. I, I watched that before... Um... I mean, I wasn't working, I promise. I watched it on my own time. But, uh, right, right. I, w- I was like, dude, this is fucking two and a half, three years ago. Yeah, yeah. And the images were, I was like, yeah, that's the shit. You yeah. know, and that's, and that's almost not even listening to any dialogue or the story. Like, I was able to get where it was going. Mm-hmm. And granted, I kind of knew, we but, talked about uh, it back then, yeah. what the plot generally was, but. Yeah. I didn't need to even hear it to know what was kind of going on. And I was like, fuck, when I see the rest. Good, I'm glad. Well, I'm that's glad. that's what got me. And when I saw you guys' footage, I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, these are the guys you need to work with, period. 
Well, like I said, dude, it's the qualities there. It's my pleasure to be able yeah. to collaborate with other people. Yeah. If if you're a good actor, and I might be decent at filming, then let's work together. Then you'll get good footage. That's I get awesome. good footage. I get to do what I want to do. You get to do what you want to do. Why not? Yeah. Why not help each other get where we want to be? You just gotta find a good writer, though. Yeah. Well, yeah I know. Let me know if you guys find one. Yeah. No. We were. <laughs> Actually, why don't you find mean... one? <laughs> I have something you to do. <laughs> go, go look for some go look for a good writer. Put this shit together. All right. Well, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. We're gonna put the uh, trailer at the end of this, and uh, do you Probably have any some s- other shit? We'll that put your works. website on there. Any social media, Instagram. Yeah, yeah. We got, we got all that. All right. We're gonna shoot something. Boom. I'm calling yeah. it right now. We're gonna shoot oh yeah, we're gonna show you some behind yeah. the scenes. And yeah. Stuff. yeah. All right. I'd love that. Have a good one. Thank you, guys. Something is wrong. Very wrong.